we shall reflect on the life of saints hippolytus and pontanus today the church commemorates two of a little known yet no less illustrious sons who died for the faith as a result of harsh treatment and exhaustion in the mines of sardinia in italy one who had been a pope for 5 years the other an anti pope for 18 that they died reconciled was the high point of their christian lives saint hippolytus whose name means a horse turned loose was a learned priest in rome and the most important theological writer of his time he claimed to have been a disciple of saint irenaeus while saint jerome refers to him as a most holy and eloquent man at first however he was known for his holier than thou attitude towards the church unafraid of censuring even the pope he criticized pope saint zephyrinus for not being prompt in detecting and denouncing heresy attacking the contemporary trinitarian modalism and patripassism he propounded a doctrine on the logos that was close to subordinationism he accused callistus the first successor to zephyrinus of sabellianism going so far as to sever ties with the church of rome and having himself elected anti pope by his supporters a schism that lasted through the papacy of urban the first and pontanus in the year 235 hippolytus was banished to sardinia by emperor maximus here sharing his exile was none other than pope pontanus himself who during his reign had held a synod which confirmed the excommunication of the great theologian origen in alexandria hippolytus was regarded orthodox to the point of regarding the church as being composed exclusively of the just and the sinless but he was humble enough to be able to acknowledge his excesses and seek reconciliation what he failed to learn as a reformer and a purist he learned in the pain and desolation of his exile with pontanus the fruit of this reconciliation being the resignation of both hippolytus as anti pope and pontanus as pope making way for a new incumbent in rome the election of saint antarius ended the schism but his near instant martyrdom was followed by the election of pope saint fabian who brought the mortal remains of hippolytus and pontanus to rome and accorded them a solemn burial to hippolytus in the cemetery of via tiburtina and pontanus in the crypt of saint callistus